So one thing I often bring up in my, when I was lecturing was, you know, if we're going to be this, 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 this person who uplifts and nurtures life, you know, all the time, how do you maintain that, you know? And so I would ask the question, I would ask the question, you know, what's the greatest gift you could give another human being? Right? And people say authenticity, integrity, truth, honesty, and I say, okay, those all are vying for four through ten, or excuse me, two through ten, but I submit that the greatest gift you can give another human being huh. is generating such a safe place around your being that that person can be free to be who it is they actually are in that moment. If they're angry, you're not judging them. You say, wow, man, you're really angry. Yeah, oh, you know. If they're sad, you're right there for them. We've all done it for others. We've all had it done for us. But how do you maintain that? What do you have to do? How do you maintain that open space so that you're always available? So, to kind of explain how we do that, I... I, I Pretend that I would like you to pretend I'm holding a microphone. Okay, and so you got the microphone right here and there's a cord going down. Now, that microphone is receiving information and then transmitting it out, then going to the speaker. So it's receiving and there's a, this electricity. Without electricity inside this microphone, it doesn't receive and or transmit information. You take the electricity out, you might as well use it as a hammer. It's it's completely useless as a microphone. Well, the same is true for each one of you who are sitting in this room. There is an electricity within you that when this electricity is in us and animating these beings, we say we're alive. And when the electricity has gone, it's, we say they're dead. But what is that electricity? You know, what is that electricity? Now, for eons, we have every culture that we have, they've all come up with a word for, you know, basically, and in English we call it the soul. Right? That when the soul is here, we're alive. When the soul is gone, we're not. But what is that soul? What is that essence? What is that energy? Because the word is not the energy. And I submit that that energy, that, that life force that is animating your beings and giving you life, the S-O-U-L, the soul, the S-O-U-L, that energy that is giving you that animated being, the soul is the spirit of unconditional love. That's what you are. The who, I'm a businessman, or I'm a mom, or I'm a store owner, or I'm a whatever, that's all the mind. But that the what you are is the spirit of unconditional love. Now, if you are capable of focusing on that, to getting out of the story of the who, but focusing on what you are, when you're really inviting that and you truly are the spirit of unconditional love, because that's what you are, then you automatically are the greatest gift you could ever give another human being. Mm -hmm. There's no doing. It's just being what you are. <coughs> it's your true nature. Now, when two or more people can live in that present here now space and identify with what they are and not who they are and they are together as spirits of unconditional love then they get to experience peace which is people experiencing a conscious existence P-E-A-C-E -E, people experiencing a conscious existence so when you are identified with the soul the spirit of unconditional love and that is what you are you get to experience peace which is people experiencing conscious existence. And they do so by living in truth. T-R-U-T-H. By living in the repeatless, unknowable, timeless 
happening. Because we know it's repeatless, it's never happened before, every moment is fresh and new, it's constantly emerging, fresh, every nanosecond, every cell, everything is transforming and changing. So it's repeatless and it's unknowable, because if it never happened before and it's fresh and new, how could you know it? It's completely unknowable. It's timeless, because time truly doesn't exist. Time is just a, a tool for measuring the passing of now. You know, it's that saying, the past and the future are inevitable. The past and the future don't exist. They're imagined. So the repeatless, unknowable, timeless happening, because it seems to be happening. <laughs> Here we are.